Hey, JNM here with a new Blender video about PBR Texture Painting. In the previous one I showed how to set up a brick material from textures.com with a principal shader to which I added the images for the base color, the roughness and the normal map. Here see the node setup, but now I want to paint another material, some kind of water puddles for instance at this area here, or into the cracks of the bricks. So let's go to the node setup and the first thing I do is to add another principal shader for the water overlay. So press F3 and search for principled BSDF and add it above the other one. The roughness are set to zero to make it fully reflective. The base color are set to a darker gray tone. Ok, and after that I add a mix shader to the node setup, again press F3 and search for mix. Then I connect both principal shaders to it. And then connect the shader output to the material output. Ok, now we have this overlay with a factor of 0 0.5. But when you set the factor to 0 it is like having the principal shader below fully masked. Now you don't see the bricks anymore. And the same you can achieve when you add a black image to the factor. A black mask. So I will do this now and add a new image texture node. Then create a new image and set it to black. Then I connect it to the factor as a black mask. But what I want to have is the opposite. I want to add a mask so that the underlying material is visible, fully visible. To do that I could switch the input connections of the mix shader or just add an invert node to the factor. Now the bricks are visible again, but with this setup I can paint with a white tone onto the mask to make the water visible at the areas where I paint with white. So in the texture paint mode I set the color of the brush to white. And then be sure to have the mask node selected. It is also represented as a texture slot in the toolbar when you have texture paint enabled. Ok, now paint with white onto the areas where you want the puddles to be, especially in the cracks. And then you can see how the grey shader appears. It is more reflective. I'm painting with the mouse but you can use a pen tablet as well for higher precision. You see the point light here is reflected, that's ok. And I speed up the painting process a bit. What you can do as well is to switch to the smear brush. I decrease the strength a bit to not overdo it, but for particular areas this can look more realistic and interesting. Ok, then you can also go ahead and change the base color of the shader for different kinds of water or water effects. Or use darker or lighter tones, or tones like red or brown, you get the idea. And here you see the reflection of the internal HDRI on the water surface when I rotate it in the viewport shading. Alright, what I also want to show you is to connect the node with the albedo texture to the base color input of the principal shader. When you do this you mix the same base color but different roughness and normal values. Because the shader above has no roughness or normal map, the result is a reflective transparent overlay. To make it look more interesting you can add a subsurface color and play around with the intensity. Here you see the different effects when you modify the intensity.
or to create really crazy emissive effects, you can set the color of the emission and increase the emission strength. To make it look really shiny, you should enable the bloom effect in the render properties. So you see guys, Blender is really powerful when it comes to texture painting, but there's a great add-on that I'm testing at the moment to simplify texture painting with Blender, and I have to say it's really great. It's called Bee Painter from Andy, the link is added to the description below, and it comes with features like a brush library, a full paint layer system and blend modes. I highly recommend it and a tutorial will come soon. Ok guys, that's it for this video. If you are interested in renders like this and also small videos, you can find this on my Instagram account. Don't forget to follow me, the link is added to the description below. Also subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and if you have any questions then add these to the comments. Join JNM as a member or become a patron, this would really help a lot. Thanks for watching and I see you here on JNM.